Every year, human activities have been increasing the total amount of greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere, which already has too many of them. The increasing amount of greenhouse gases are causing large amounts of damage to our ecosystems, the habitats within them, and the organisms that inhabit those places. Many people assume that climate change is only increasing the temperature of the Earth. However, this is not the only thing that it is affecting. One way how climate change is affecting our Earth is that climate change is one of the primary causes for the rapid decrease in numbers for the coral reefs. The only thing to blame for this massive issue are humans. My name is Nathan Haynes, and this is Climate Change. Change, the killer of the reefs. Here's what Dr. Humans, a specialist on the topic of climate change, has to say on how climate change is affecting our Earth as a whole. Hello, I'm Dr. Humans. Today I'm going to explain how climate change affects the Earth. Climate change, by definition, is, is a change in global or regional climate patterns and is attributed largely to the increased level of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. According to a climate change study done by NASA, the plant's average surface temperature has risen about 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.9 degrees Celsius since the last 19th century. Climate change affects the world in a multitude of ways, which are caused by human activities. These human activities have affected the land, oceans, and atmosphere, and these changes have altered global climate patterns. Our burning of fossil fuels, releasing of chemicals in the atmosphere, and the rapid expansion of farming, development, and industrial activities are releasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and changing the balance of the climate system. These problems are causing heat waves and droughts, the melting of polar ice caps, the raising of Earth's overall sea level, and many more. All of these weather and geographical changes are slowly affecting different organisms living on Earth, and more and more as climate change continues to worsen. Over the past 30 years, roughly half of our Earth's coral reefs have died. This is due to our constant emissions of these greenhouse gases, which have caused large amounts of damage to our Earth. The constant damage from these greenhouse gases to our Earth causes the reefs to die at rapid rates. These gases are causing the overall temperature of the ocean to increase and are also making the ocean water more acidic, which causes the water to be too unbearable for these coral reefs to live in, leading to their demise. Let's go back to Dr. Humans on how these reefs are being affected by these greenhouse gases. Climate change is disrupting the symbiotic relationship between coral and the algae Zoexanthellae. Zoexanthellae supply corals oxygen and help coral remove waste while also providing them glucose, glycerol, and amino acids. In return, the algae get a home in the coral and access to sunlight from the reefs. NOAA studies have included when water is too warm, corals will expel Zoexanthellae living in their tissues, causing the coral to turn completely white. This is called coral bleaching. The ocean warming up and causing stress between the coral symbiotic relationship with the zoox and Thilly is not the only problem that they are facing. Humans are releasing more and more CO2 into the air every year. According to NOAA, the ocean absorbs about 30% of CO2 that is released in the atmosphere, and as levels of atmospheric CO2 increases, so do the levels in the ocean. This absorption of CO2 in the ocean causes chemical reactions in seawater, causing increased concentration of hydrogen ions in the ocean. This causes higher acidity in the ocean and less carbonate ions. Carbonate ions are important building blocks for calcium carbonate structures for species including coral, leaving their skeletons weak and brittle and more and leaving corals more susceptible to other dangers. The destruction of the coral reefs wouldn't only affect the wildlife in, but it would also impact our society. Many cities rely on these coral reefs for many reasons, such as a source for food and for economic purposes. With many scientists predicting that most, if not all, of Earth's coral reefs will be destroyed by 2050, many people who rely on these natural habitats are fearing what that might entail for them. Let's see what a native of the Philippines has, has to say about this issue. My name is Jasmine Mendoza and I am a fisher in the Philippines. Fish used to be abundant in the sea, free for us to fish as we please to feed our families. We would go out into the ocean, release our nets, and we would be out in the water for not too long. But now everything has changed. Thank you for joining us today. Tell me, when did this problem start for you? When did the fish start declining? Many villagers have said it's been happening for a while now, but me and other fishermen have noticed that this year it's become a real issue. Fishing now takes hours and hours on end because nobody can find the fish. Some fishermen have died because they've gotten so stranded from shore, all, all just because they're trying to find fish for their families. It's become a real issue. Most of these fishes are dying because of the coral reef destruction. What do you know about these coral reefs? Many people in my village, including myself, didn't know the value of coral reefs. Many people in general don't know the true value of coral reefs bring to the ocean. Now, however, me and my villagers are trying to sustain coral reefs as best as we can. Even though we can't stop, stop global warming as a whole, we can, we can help the coral reefs heal by leaving them alone. What do you think is the future for these coral reefs? 
If we don't do something, coral reefs will die out and everyone will lose a large source of food. I want to be able to feed my family and I want my village to survive. Thank you, Jasmine, for joining us today. As we have learned here today, the emission of these greenhouse gases doesn't only have an impact on the temperature of the atmosphere, but also has an effect on the habitats on land, the habitats within the ocean, and even humans, with coral reefs seeming to be taking the blunt force of that damage. The emission of carbon dioxide and methane can and will lead to our planet's death, with the cause of this issue pointing right at humans. This is one issue that no one can overlook. My name has been Nathan Haynes, and this has been Climate Change, the Killer of the Reefs.